I hopped out of the shower and now we're doing this. Let me change first. Honestly, I wore this shirt back in 2013 on a mission trip. We're wearing it. So today I thought I would share with you 10 step Korean skincare routine because Koreans are extra and Billy. So I saw this whole 10 step online on a blog and then I thought, let me try it because my skin is one of the most sensitive things in the world. And I will say that no, I don't believe that the 10 step skincare routine will be useful for everyone because one, we don't have that much time on our hands and two, putting that many different products on your face could actually make your skin worse. For me, thankfully, I have tried all of these products and so far so good. So I'm just going to show you guys 10 things that you can use on your face. Okay. Billy. Billy. Say hi to the camera. Okay, bye. So first we're going to start off by double cleansing. Double cleansing is a method that a lot of Korean women use in order to have clear skin. Double cleansing involves an oil-based cleanser with a gel or foam cleanser. The oil-based cleanser is going to pull out impurities such as sebum or SPF or pollutants that could be in our skin. While the second step is going to pull out water-based debris that are still left on our skin that the oil didn't get off. Unfortunately, cleansing towels don't do a very good job and a lot of people have even told me when I use makeup wipes it's actually just smearing the makeup all over my face and we don't want that so this is a way to ensure that everything comes off of your face First, I'm going to start off with the Hamish Cleansing Balm. There was another one from Zero that a lot of people use as well, but I went with this one because it had really clean ingredients and the top comes off like this and you just kind of scoop it. And it has the consistency of coconut oil, but coconut oil clogs your pores, so this is definitely a better option. So first, I lather on about a dime size and you rub it between your fingers so that the heat emulsifies it. And then you can add a little bit of water as well. Then you just Rub it on gently to remove all of your makeup. So next I'm going to start off with a cleansing gel. Cleansing gels are nice because they don't foam and a lot of people say that foam can strip your natural oils and can leave your face feeling dry and so this is a great option for those who have dry skin. I actually have combination skin and I get really oily in some places and dry in other places and I found that foam doesn't actually dry me out completely so you can either use this but if you are looking for something that's more foamy, we are going to use the Neogen green tea. And actually today I'm going to use both. So I guess this is a triple cleanse. And this one is pretty cool because it's made out of green tea and there's actual tea leaves at the bottom that you can see. Typically, I wouldn't use both a cleansing gel and a foaming cleanser, but I love the way the Neogen cleanser smells. It really smells like green tea, as if you could drink it. Then I grab a small face towel and just pat dry my face, although I could use my fan too. Next is a cult favorite, meaning pretty much every person who knows about Korean skincare has tried this product. It's the Beauty Water from Sun and Park. This basically acts as an exfoliator, but it's also kind of like a toner. Basically, it just helps prep your skin for everything else that you're going to put on it afterwards. My mom bought this fan for me from a Korean store in K-Town, but oh, too strong. Then I get a cotton pad and put on the beauty water so that it helps exfoliate my skin. After that, I am going to use the Time Revolution Misha Essence. Basically, you just pat it onto your face and you want to make sure that it just soaks right in and that's going to help recover whatever's going on on your skin. So I pour a few dabs onto my hand and then I'm going to pat it into my skin and I'm not going to rub because that's not good for our skin as we're pulling it but you want to just pat everything in and make sure that it gets into our pores. Next, 
No snails were harmed in the making of this. Snail Repair Intensive Ampoule. Ampoule is like a serum that you put on your face and it's supposed to help with dark spots, wrinkles, and with acne scars, which I have. And apparently this is created from the slime of snails and I read online and that the slime only produces when they're happy. And so people say that snails aren't harmed while they create this and that they let the snails go afterwards. Do I really believe that I'm not sure because I feel like these Korean people could just be saying that um, so if you know anything about it please let me know because my heart would hurt so bad knowing that an animal or an insect had to go through something difficult to create beauty products but then I put this ample on I thought the ample would be really sticky but it actually ended up drying okay it leaves no residue and so it was a great feeling to have on my skin Then I also have it in a cream. The cream is just going to help me put it all over my face so that it just soaks it all in and that we are ready to go with my skin problems. This cream is just a creamy version of the ample and the ample is basically a serum and this one's the cream. But I felt like the cream was very light and it also didn't leave any residue. Next is this water mask. It is from Laneige and it's the water sleeping mask. Basically, this kind of hydrates your skin. It helps to repair because we were repairing a lot of things tonight and helps it hydrate. So because I had so many things on my face already, I decided to use the water sleeping mask on my under eyes and it's actually very cooling and it felt amazing. Then I'm gonna pack it all in with this sheet mask and we're just gonna put it on, rest for about five minutes. And then last but not least, I end everything off with some chapstick. This chapstick is actually not Korean. I didn't end up buying a Korean chapstick because I felt like the chapstick is all the same. So this is just the generic chapstick that I use. This sheet mask smelled like melons and it was super sweet. I would say that I prefer cooling ones like cucumber or aloe vera, but this one was okay too. You can honestly use any sheet mask and that's just going to help lock in everything that you've just done. And now I look like a scary cat. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this 10 step skincare routine. Please keep in mind that even if it works for me, it doesn't mean it'll work for you. But if there's certain products that you're really interested in, I definitely recommend that you check them out. And of course, if you don't want to use all 10, feel free to just click and see which items you think you would vibe with the most. I feel like as someone who is trying to be more conservative, 10 skincare items is a lot to purchase and buy, but but this is a very exciting skincare routine that I really wanted to share with you. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.